Oh my gosh. My hair hasn't been this long in so long. I feel like Nicki. I feel like Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Can't believe how well that's blending. And they've got like Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, thank you for clicking on another video. In today's video I'm going to do something a bit different than usual, as you can see by the title, I'm doing a get ready with me. Um, I don't usually do, ah oh, I just hit myself in the face, I don't usually do a lot of these, mainly because, number one, I don't think that I should be giving any advice about makeup, um, number two, Editing them is often just a nightmare. However, today I'm very excited because the company Irresistible Me has sent me some of their hair extensions to try out. So I've got this box here. I have already opened it, Soz. Um, it was already like that when it arrived. So I thought I would just do the whole process with you here on camera, turn myself from this to this in an attempt to become a modern day snap. So the look that I'm gonna be doing today will be fairly neutral, just gonna be my everyday like makeup look. Um, I've been loving like nude colors and just looking as natural <laughs> as possible. Um, so that's the look that I'm gonna do. If you want more videos like this, make sure you let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to film more of them. Um, I'm not gonna really make it like a tutorial because as I say, I don't think I should be giving advice about makeup. Um, it's more just like a, this is what I do, copy at your own risk. All the products I use are mainly NYX. <laughs> They're also super cheap. Um, so yeah, I'll talk you through it. So to begin, I'm just gonna clip my hair back out of the way because my hair is very blonde and my skin is very brown. And when my makeup gets on my face, that is not the world's best combination. And I'm gonna start by putting on some primer. The primer that I'm using is the High Glass Primer. Um, it's just from NYX. It's all right, I don't really know. Does anyone actually know what primer really does? Um, but I do like it because it's super shimmery, so it gives you like a little glow, which I love. Like, look at that. It's just shimmer, shimmer central. So I just put this all over my face. And I do use my foundation brush, but only because I can't be bothered getting my hands all messy. I'm gonna move on to my lips. Um, so I'm using this very blunt, <laughs> Uh, sleek lip pencil so it's called color 1260 just say nothing lip pencil I love wearing lip liner um, only because it makes whatever you put on top just stay so much better during the day um, and then I will just fill it in as well beautiful chocolate lips <laughs> And I'm gonna do what I always promise I won't do, which is put a lighter colour on top of the darker lip liner, but whatever, we've done it now. So I'm using this MAC Taupe lipstick, which to be honest, I don't love. Like, I don't love it as much as I hoped I would. And that is probably because I end up doing that, but. Bit of that to get some depth around the inside and then I'm gonna go in with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the colour London uh, SMLCO4, whatever that means. Um, and that's a fairly light colour, so I just kind of dab, dab that on. Again, to bring it back to my own skin tone a little bit. But with a bit of an ombre. And it's very messy. It's very much not precise, um, but it tends to work well enough for me. So, One trick that I love for making sure that you don't get lipstick all over your teeth is pop a finger in your mouth, <laughs> side to side, and you just get that ring of lipstick around your finger. And that is what would have otherwise gone on your teeth. So great trick of whole pandemic life, wash your hands before you do that. But moving on swiftly, we are going to do the eyebrows. So, <laughs> can you tell? I just, I literally never sharpen my pencils. It's so bad. This is like melted on. But I just use this like super cheap Rimmel uh, eyebrow pencil. I haven't plucked my eyebrows in forever. And yet they just don't seem to grow. So they kind of just end up being messy. But what I like to do, and don't copy me on this, this is just my lazy way of doing my brows, or my way, lazy way of getting fluffy-ish brows, is that I just line as far in as I want to go at the bottom, and then at the top, 
line that in as well so that I'm looking pretty cray and then I just pop this back on so you've got a brush at the end I'm just gonna use that brush to spread the product and for me like I quite like this look it ends up looking pretty hairy <laughs> which is what I'm going for love a hairy brow so just brush it up like so and I mean it's not perfect but I'm happy with that like I don't love overly defined brows so I just allow the brush to spread the product so then I grab my concealer so I've got this concealer which is totally not my shade this Estee Lauder double wear basically what happened was I bought it during the pandemic they wouldn't let you test the color on your skin tone and I remembered the wrong shade, so this is way, way, way too light. So I mix it with my NYX Can't Stop Concealer. Um, and I like to put on concealer before my foundation, largely because, oh, I forgot my, I forgot, I knew I forgot something. I forgot my um, sponges. Largely because I do use my foundation to kind of blend it out and I don't like having loads of product on my face. So I kind of just blob it on and I'll get my sponge now so we can move it into the right place. And we are back. So I've got my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna dab that into my face. I think it tends to blend out okay, like generally. I do just kind of use the blender to like place the product wherever I want. So if I put it in the wrong place, I don't really care. So I'll just move it. I do quite like having two different shades of concealer actually because it means I can get it pretty much where I want in terms of warmth and brightness, which is pretty cool. So then, once I've done that, <laughs> and my face is looking super funny, I use my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, foundation. I just put a bit on there. I kind of just use that to blend. So I use this to cover up like my spot scars and to just blend out. Bringing back in a bit more like red based skin tone onto my face. And I just prefer that. Like I don't like putting my foundation on and then putting my concealer on over. So I just don't see the point in having that much colour um, in having that much product on my face. I don't really do any colour correction, like, I just, I don't even want to know if I need colour correction because it just looks like too much work, you know? I'm happy with this makeup routine. What I do like to use now is like a liquid illuminator instead of um, highlighter. I do still use highlighter, but I just find I really like the way this sits on the skin. So again, it's NYX because I feel like I bought a good NYX lipstick and then I just based like the whole of my makeup um, the whole of my makeup collection on that and I stopped trying any other products because I was too lazy and I couldn't be bothered. So the way I put this on personally is that I just put a blob on it, blob of it on my beauty blender and then I just dab that onto my cheeks. <laughs> that is not blending out at all. <laughs> and I feel like in my head this just gives more of like a natural-ish glow. And when I say natural I mean fake natural because you know, that's the look we're going for. Um, but yeah, it's actually so funny. I genuinely like, I will find one product that I that I don't mind or that I tolerate and that'll be it. Like I hate, I hate trying new products, like investing in something new and then you don't love it. And I'm like, what was the point in that? That was such a waste. I could have just carried on with my super cheapy one and been happy. So most of my stuff is from MYX. And it's only when I try something that I don't love that I then switch and find other brands. For example, the concealer, I definitely prefer the Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Concealer. I think that that one just comes out so much better. And if I had that in my right colour, I would not be using the NYX one anymore. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. Please make sure they're UK based and relatively affordable. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've got some kind of glow in my face, how does that look? I have a feeling I'm going to watch this back, be editing it and be like, I can't upload this. This is so terrible. Once I've done that, what I like to do then is then put on my setting spray. I think I watched, who was it? Jackie, 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 Jackie. I watched her, Jackie Anna's video, and she was like, it's better when your spray or your setting powder, your setting is mixed in with your product. 
And so I now do this, even though I'm not even sure that's what she was teaching. I think she teaches you to like mix it in with your foundation or something, but I don't know. I'm not a very good student as you can see. Oh, the one that I'm using by the way is the Dewy Finish NYX. <laughs> Again, is it any good? I think so actually. I do think it's quite good, but yeah, there's probably better products out there. I just don't know them. Um, one thing I should have done or that I usually do is like, outline my eyebrows, but I'll wait for that to dry and then I'll do that later. Again, NYX lip gloss in Madeline. But then also I've got this Revlon lip gloss in Cho Choco Crush. So I basically put that, oh my gosh, my face is like dripping wet. <laughs> I put the darker one around the outside. Oops, see Daisy? My bad, my bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is my Bugatti. And then I put the lighter one on the inside. So I'll just dab the gloss there. And just dab it out to like support my contour. And I feel like it is still a bit dark, like that's not necessarily a natural lip, but that's about as natural as I go. So my morph palette, which is just so messy. <laughs> um, but I just choose like a neutral brown color. I won't even show you what one it is because it doesn't really matter as long as it's just like a neutral brownish color. And I'll just smooth out my eyelid. Um, and then I'll get like a lighter color, a lighter shade, <laughs> using the same brush because I CBA. And I'll just pop that on the inside and blend it out. Because I know that I do want a lighter inner corner to a darker outer corner, even if that is a bit more subtle because it's just neutral shades. And then I'm gonna switch brushes to get a bit of a darker, a darker shade for the outer corner. I'm just gonna dab that on. I don't want it too heavy. So just a gentle, a gentle contour. And then when I've messed that up enough, I go back in with the lighter shade to blend out and fix, fix what I've just done basically. And I feel like that will do, that's all right to me. So I got a bronzer, <laughs> Shock Horror NYX. Um, it is Sunset Vibes California Beaming bronzer. And I quite like just putting that all over my face, quite, mm, that's all over my hair. Um, all over my face quite indiscriminately really. Um, just to add a bit of shine, a bit of a glow. Just kind of like on the blending points of like, of my face. So just below the cheekbones, I'll get, I actually just use eyeshadow um, for, <laughs> for my blush because I want to. Um, and I'll get a little bit of blush I tend to use that in like the contour area, like the shadow area, rather than too high up, just cause, you know, I don't really blush to be honest, but I do want a little bit of color in my face. So I'll just add that in, including the darker brown shade that I used on my eyelid. So I'll always use like the same colors. I do just find that that helps it look like, you know, just one face rather than like a gazillion different colors. If I'm going for a more, <laughs> Slightly understated natural look. Cool, 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 cool. And then I might just put a little bit down the side of my nose. I'm not a massive contour person. I don't love a contour, to be completely honest with you, on my nose. Because um, I just, I quite like having like a wide flat nose. I know that it's not necessarily in fashion, but I genuinely really like my nose, so I don't really do much to it. Um, then I'm just going to get some of my Sasha Buttercup powder, pop some of that under the eyes. I don't really bake, but it's just easier to apply this way. So under the eyes, and I'll carve out, carve out a cheekbone if I can find one. <laughs> and just put it on basically the highlighted shiny points on my face. I don't really leave it on that long, I brush it off. How's that looking? Yeah, that'll do, that'll do, donkey, that'll do. Still use 
Collection 2000 Fast Stroke Eyeliner. I feel like I've just learned how to use it. It's comfortable in my hand. It is £2.99 and so I have no desire to change. Um, I did try like upgrading my liner but it just felt different and nothing ever came out as well. So I was like, why fix it if it ain't broke? So continuing with my attempt at somewhat of a natural look, I'm gonna do a very thin base line and a very small flick at the end. Sorry, my mirror's all the way over there, so I feel like I'm leaning across. Okay, that'll do. And then, one thing I love doing, I actually have like a tiny little spot here, um, which I usually cover up with foundation. Um, but recently, I just like to add it back in. Um, put on some mascara. So my favorite, favorite mascara is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara because I have little baby lashes um, and they just need a more delicate brush and I find that this brush is just the best. One thing that I probably should have done and I usually do much earlier on in my routine is just like underline the eyebrows because I do feel like even though I'm going for the messy natural look, you do still need some structure. So I'm just taking a little bit of my concealer and then a slanted brush like this and I'm just redefining, very gently defining my eyebrows. I feel like I've got some black on my face. I should not have used my hands. Anyway, I'm gonna wash my hands and then stick on some falsies. The lashes that I'm gonna use today are these Ardell Naked Lashes. Um, they're quite short and fluffy um, because, as I said, I have short lashes. And if I am going for a daytime lash look, I don't want them to be like too much. The way that I choose natural looking lashes is to go for a really thin base. If the line of the base is really thin, that is what's gonna look natural. When you've got a really heavy line, um, it's just gonna look really thick and really overdone, which is great for, you know, if that's the look you're going for. So if you're going for a more natural look, then go for lashes with a thin base and that just look, you know, thin and fluffy um, rather than excessively defined. I do see myself as something of a, a false lash expert just because they've always come just because I've always been quite good at applying them to be honest and um, no matter how bad your glue is the one trick is to just let it go tacky so you should never be putting like wet glue on your lashes because if you do that then that's where you go wrong so you should always let the glue go tacky before you apply it and just think of it as like slotting something into a corner so you're slotting the lash line into the corner between your lashes and your skin. I feel like that's tacky enough. So you want the lash line nice and straight, pull it nice and straight, and then you just wanna slot it behind the lashes into the corner. You can really take your time with it as well. I feel like people think, you know, the first place you cut it is where it's got to stay. That's absolutely not true. You can drag it around, you can pull it off, re put it on, whatever you need to do. But what I do then is I just like dagger like pinch it into the base of my lash. And that's them on. I mean, they don't look the most natural, to be fair. They look kind of thick. Um, so they're not too long, you see. And then, other eye. So again, I pull the lash nice and straight, holding onto the lashes, making sure there's no fluff and bits on them. And then I just stick them in. Slotting them in, like so. Okay, so my lashes are on and I feel like I'm just gonna quit there. I never really finish my makeup. I more just think, okay, that'll do. So this company basically reached out and offered me to try 
their extensions, their clipping extensions. So on their website, they have a wide range of different colors. So I just basically chose the color that looked most like mine, um, going from what it looked like on the website. And they arrived the other day, so I thought I would show you guys what they're like. But yeah, as you know, I always wear extensions. I absolutely love, <laughs> I love the fakery. I find it so much fun. People have asked me where I get my extensions all the time and I've never been able to recommend anywhere because I always buy from different places. So I'll get them online from AliExpress and it depends how I'm wearing them as well, whether I'm wearing clippings, whether I'm wearing weave, whatever it is, and it changes all the time. So that is why I've never done a video being like, this is how I do my hair. It's because it changes all the time. And I thought, you know what? I can review some extensions that a company has sent me. I know what I like and what I don't like. So I will be reviewing these and telling you if I like them or if I don't like them. So they arrive in a box, cute little box, and you've got this package, which I've already opened as you can see, but basically they've got a little trial bit. So they've got a little separate bit where you can try one piece of extension and see what it looks like before you open the sealed bit so that you know if you want to send it back. Um, so basically, I think that's just for like hygiene reasons. So you can't send it back if you've opened the sealed bit with all the extensions, but you have this piece here that you can try and see what you think of. Um, and looking at this, I was actually amazed at how well, how well does that match? That is like the exact same color. Now considering that I like tone and dye my hair myself, I was pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed that that matches so, so well. Obviously they've not got roots on it, but genuinely I feel like you could just add roots to that. Like I could just like get a box of black hair dye and just brush on some roots if I wanted to. But I'm just gonna use these as clip-ins at the back anyway. Um, to add some length because at the moment what I've got in is not that long anyway so yeah at the moment it's just below just about roundabout bra strap length so they sent me the white blonde extensions in 24 inches so what I'm gonna do is just add in this test patch to the back and um, so I'm just parting my hair at the back and I'm just gonna clip it on Clip it on to the roots and that clips on really easily. That's not going anywhere and that has just added some good length. Oh, I'm excited. So now that I know the colour matches, I'm going to open the sealed bit. So I'm going to open the main bulk of the package and let's see how this looks. So, oh, it's got a nice little seal package and then we've got the extensions. And they are heavy, that is a lot of hair. Oh my gosh, that is so long. Oh, I'm excited. So you've got the extensions. So as you can see, if I show you closer up, um, they're all bundled together. And it's nice and healthy, which is making my current hair look very unhealthy. Look how thin that is. You can barely see it. And then the clip-ins are the same color as the hair. So they just pop open like that and back together. And you've got them quite close together as well so that's really going to hook on so I'm going to open all of those and then I'm going to half clip out the way and take those to the back and just clip them onto the roots of the hair and what I love about this I always recommend like I've been looking for clippings for quite a while I would always recommend having clippings whether you wear wigs or weaves or whatever extensions you use just because then no matter what your hair is looking like you can just add length and change it up really easily I mean I've used clippings since I was 16 um, on my natural hair on extensions on whatever because um, it just gives you so much more versatility so when they reached out to me I was like yeah I've been meaning to get these for so long because then even if I want to change it up and wear my hair short I can literally get back to the length in like five to ten minutes without having to redo my whole head of hair oh my gosh my hair hasn't been this long in so long I feel like Nikki I feel like Nicki Minaj <laughs> I can't believe how well that's blending. And they've got like different size pieces as well. So I guess I'll put some of the smaller pieces a bit high up, which will hopefully make a bit of natural like layering as well. Um, we're clipping in really comfortably as well. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited for these. Thank you, Resistible Me, for sending these my way. The way it's flowing as well. 
Oh my gosh, there's so much. <laughs> there's so much here. I don't know how I'm gonna fit these all on my head. That is really good as well, because usually one of my fears when ordering clip-ins is that they don't send enough, and it's like, okay, yeah, I've got extensions, but they're super thin at the bottom. Whereas they have sent so much for like a full head. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love it. I wanna put in one at the very back actually as well, so I just get like the maximum length. Like, look, I love that. Oh my gosh, and I've not even like, pulled it to blend it in yet. Oh my gosh. There's so much. I don't know what to do. It's almost too much here. Like where do I put all of this? So if I want a smaller piece at the front, I can just part by here and clip that and add it in. Like so. and go back over. So they are a little bit more yellow, I'd say slightly more yellow than I would usually do my hair, but because they are real hair extensions, like this isn't synthetic hair, it's real hair, I can just tone them. So I can actually just tone them um, to suit my natural color more, which is what I love about using, you know, real hair, hair extensions. It means that you're never like stuck with them um, with the color that they are. You can always just dye them yourself. Or if you get your hair done at a hairdresser, <laughs> you can literally just ask them to dye it if they're willing to. Um, and that way you get the exact color that you want. Um, but this is blending really well. It's just slightly more yellowy tones. Like I do like, I don't like any, <laughs> any yellow um, in the bleached hair, so. Yeah, I prefer to go for like a white blonde if I can and try and maintain that. So this is a little bit more yellow, so I will probably tone these. But um, my hair was due for toning anyway, so um, it's actually blending quite well. <laughs> but that's only because my hair is not as white as I would want it right now. It's still a little bit yellow. I'm just arranging and rearranging these. I should probably put like a mirror behind me or something so that I could see what I was doing, but I'm just kind of feeling feeling out, so I'll clip them down, I'll brush it over, and I'll just feel, so that I can feel everything is smooth. As long as I don't feel a clip, I know that we're good, so. Oh my gosh, there's still more to put in, are you kidding me? There's two more, okay. I need to find some kind of space. <laughs> I've got a big head too. <laughs> find some kind of space on my, on my head for these other two clippings. Okay, we're finally down to the last piece. Just gotta find somewhere, oh my goodness, that is so thick. And somewhere to put this. What gets me is that I've not even blended this out yet. Are you kidding? <laughs> I feel like Shakira. Okay, I'm just gonna comb that through. Oh my gosh. I love that as I'm combing, it's not actually pulling at all and it's not hurting. So they're quite secure clips, which is good because I know that with some clip-ins, you can actually like, when you comb it, you'll feel it pulling and it hurts, but that doesn't hurt at all. Okay, so this is what it's looking like without any styling. So this is what it looks like without any styling. 24 inches of hair on my back. Wow. How has that blended so well? I don't understand. This blended so, so well. Oh my goodness. I love it and I've not even curled it. Do you know what? I was gonna curl my hair but I feel like I might not curl it. I thought that I would need to curl it to let it blend in. But I think I might just go for like a straight look. What do you think? I never wear straight hair. I always have to have some kind of, no, it's no, in fact, there's a reason. I always have to have some kind of volume. And I mean, I guess I can see that there when the, when the wind blows. So I might have to clip those in a little bit better. I really like these extensions. I think they are great quality. I love how lightweight they are. I think I will need to alter the color though, but I always do that with whatever extensions I buy because I know exactly what I want. I've dyed my hair since I was like, yay big. Um, so for these, I would add in black roots, number one, <laughs> and I would tone them. Um, but I can't believe how well that matches just from straight out of the box and onto my head. Like I've literally not done anything to them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna curl my hair. And I always like doing that like, oh my gosh, look at that. 
So that is where my fringe usually ends, and that is the length that they've added. Are you kidding me? So what I do like to do is curl my hair with the extensions already in because that helps it blend more. Like, don't curl them separately, like curl it with your hair. Look at the makeup on my hair. Oh, it's so tough being brown and blonde. Like people don't appreciate how much work goes into it at all. <laughs> I guess that's why people don't normally choose to be brown and blonde, but anyway. So I always curl my hair with the extensions already in because then you'll just get a much better blend because um, it will just sit with your hair. I'm not going to do this very well because I really should have more clips, but all my clips are breaking, so we'll just leave it to cool for as long, however long it takes to curl the next piece. So I'm just going to do some nice big loose waves so I'm picking up fairly large chunks of hair here um, and I actually quite like in a way the fact that it's a slightly different colour than my hair because it's just because I've been able to put extensions in all over my head because um, there's different size pieces it's actually looking like highlights so I kind of like that actually maybe I won't die after all there's been so many times when I've ordered extensions and then they arrive and they literally send you like three strands that are actually 24 or 22 inches and then all the other strands are like 16 inches and it's like mm, are you kidding whereas these ones are actually thick all the way down which I very much appreciate um, I don't think I'm giving them a very fair trial in terms of holding a curl because I'm not letting them cool all the way before I take the clip down, only because I can't be bothered to go upstairs <laughs> to get some more clips, which is very lazy of me. I'm so messy, it's hilarious that I'm doing this on camera and I didn't even bother like properly sectioning my hair. Just look at that, that is like so thick, that is one chunk, that is one section of hair and it is so thick all the way down. That's insane to me. That is insane. you guys I love these hair extensions these are so good so when they emailed me I was a little bit nervous because I'm very like you know having been burned by so many hair extension companies um, I don't want to recommend anything um, because I'm always like I hate when I buy something that someone recommends and I don't love it so I said to them like feel free to send it to me but I'm just gonna give my honest opinion like if they're not great <laughs> I will say that I'm not I'm not like under any obligation to say that I love them and I and I wouldn't do that um, but I actually really love these I think they're really good quality um, and I would I think I'd recommend them if you're looking for clipping extensions um, then these are good <laughs> these are probably the best that I've tried and believe me when I say I have tried so many so thank you very much to irresistible me for sending these through and they've also given a discount code if you want to use it so definitely use the discount code to save yourself some coins um, and to support this channel as well that would be great um, and let me know what your experience is because i really like these and what do you think do you think i'm a 24 inches kind of gal Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you want more videos like this, then let me know in the comments. If you want to try out these extensions from Irresistible Me, then use my discount code to save yourself some coins and let me know what you think of them. I personally am loving these. My hair is so long and so thick. I feel, I feel like Nikki. I feel fairly fabulous. Keeping up with the Kardashians, yeah, yeah, I am when it comes to inches. So, um, yeah, I hope that you liked this video. If you do, please let me know in the comments. Make sure that you subscribe for more videos and let me know what you want to see next on the channel. I love you guys so much. I will see you soon.